It's a political balancing act between protecting rights and saving lives as lawmakers pass new gun safety bills in Lansing. It's our top story at six. Thanks for joining us. I'm Siobhan Klepfer and I'm Sherry Jones. The state Senate passed three gun safety bills today over the objections of Republicans and the pro gun lobby. As our Capitol correspondent Tim Skubik explains, supporters and opponents of the bills disagree over whether they will save lives. Today we are finally going to vote on firearm violence prevention legislation. I fear the bills before us make a lot of promises, but will ultimately fall short of reducing gun violence in our state. The Michigan Senate has approved stronger background checks before anybody can purchase a weapon. The Democrats also ordered gun owners to lock up their weapons. And the Democrats gave the courts the authority to take weapons away from those who might abuse their weapons, with the Democrats claiming the citizens in Michigan favor these laws. 89% of the people in Michigan favor this simple expansion of our current background checks. 88% of our constituents are in favor of this safe storage legislation. Red flag laws are favored by Michiganders over 75%. The recent memory of the shootings and the killings at MSU hung over this debate. But could these bills have stopped the MSU shooter? No, they couldn't. They will give people a sense of false security all while infringing on everyone's right to own a firearm, to hunt, or even defend themselves and their family. I urge a no vote against these bills because they won't prevent future violence. The two sides strongly disagreed on whether these bills would actually save lives. And in an interesting twist, two senators disagreed on the impact these measures would have on female safety. To promise grieving families that, quote, these bills will save lives, unquote, is irresponsible. Gun control disempowers women. It increases our chances of becoming an, a victim. At five feet, four inches tall, and 115 pounds, I choose to protect my body with my firearm. I think the greatest thing that we can do in terms of empowering women when it comes to gun violence is to make sure that we take the guns out of the hands of people who are a danger to them. We know that the bills that are before us, whether it's extreme risk protection orders or universal background checks, will actually save women's lives. Every Republican voted no, every Democrat voted yes. On the final passage of Senate Bill 7-6, there are 20 I votes, 17 no votes, and one excused. The three bills now go to the Michigan House for more debate. Here for you in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.